What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real football fans stand up. And tonight, yo, I want to talk about one of my favorite prospects in this year's class, and that's Will McDonald IV, defensive end out of Iowa State. And I got the pleasure to watch Will up close and personal when I was covering the Big 12, and he just jumped out when I was in the press box. And his kid is a freakish athlete, ran a 4-6 at the combine, highly productive. He had a great season, a great three-year career at his time at Iowa State with 39 tackles, 33 sacks, nine forced fumbles over a three-year span. High motor guy, he's always rushing to the ball, and he's a technician, so he's not one of those speed rushers who's just out there playing kamikaze. He has a lot of thought process and technique when it comes to his game, which I definitely like. Great bend and arm length, and he likes to bend the hoop a lot. He likes to bend the hoop, which we'll see here on film, and use his arm length to get to the quarterback to cause some of those strip fumbles and also some of those sacks and I think that's something Dan Quinn really likes in this prospect because he was at his pro day and when I watched Dan Quinn training with Will McDonald I saw the eyes light up kind of like we saw last year with Sam Williams so this is definitely a prospect if you're a Cowboys fan you got to keep your eye out on um, some areas of improvement needs to improve in the power run game if you're going to run directly at him there is going to be some struggle and the one kind of drawback which he could possibly slide into possibly day two is because he's 24 years old by the time the season starts so he'll be an older prospect but make no mistakes about it this is definitely a high quality prospect and quality talent that any NFL roster will be lucky to have so let's go ahead and get into the film all right so on the first play here you'll see him lined up on the left side and the one thing I really want you guys to watch is watch his leverage and his pad level when he comes off the ball that is great pad level now back in the day I'm not sure if kids still have this we used to have the cages right when we fire off the ball they want to keep our pad level low like almost like you're coming directly out of your stance and he does a great job of using his leverage keeping his feet chopping and fighting in the trenches great pad level like I said he's a technician and for a lot of speed rushers you don't see a lot of speed rushers who are technicians these days it's kind of either or right but he it seems like he doesn't sacrifice a lot of his upside with the, the pass rush by being a technician which is something I definitely like when it comes to Will McDonald Look at that great pad level. You can barely even see him. And it's going to force, right, it's going to force that tackle to kind of block low above him. And in some cases, there's a lot of instances where that can be a holding call because you're pretty much pressing him down. A great way to battle. Also, the one thing I like about Will McDonald, he's just not a hand-in-the-dirt type of edge rusher. He has some versatility, so you'll see here on this next play, I'm standing up, coming off the edge. So more than likely, he's probably going to be like your outside linebacker hybrid. He'll probably fit more in a 3-4 scheme. But from the Cowboys' perspective, we run a lot of different schemes as with our edge rusher. So he can do both. But I think the ideal spot would be in a 3-4. But you'll see right here coming off the edge, explosive first step, getting off the ball. Boom, running the hoop right here. And even though he doesn't get there, right, he's, he's closing in. He's gaining momentum. So he likes to come off the ball. He runs that hoop. Y'all remember, right? We always see like the hula hoops out there in the drills. This is what they're simulating. This is what they're trying to simulate. Coming off, running the hoop, closing on the quarterback. And he does a great job with that when it comes to his, his, his pass rush skill set. Watch from the end zone angle. And he hesitated a little bit because he thought this tackle was probably going to put hands. I think the tackle just forgot that he put hands on him. And it threw him off. He just came off. He probably would have just lit that quarterback up, right? But the tackle kind of threw him off because I don't know what the tackle was doing. He was confused. He threw Will off a little bit. But it kind of shows that versatility of him being able to stand up. On the third play here, showing him scrape down the line of scrimmage. Excellent job keeping his shoulders square and making a play on the running back. Good job there. Coming down the line of scrimmage, staying square, shoulder square, shoulder square, shoulder square. And wrapping up and make the tackle. Great play right there. And we'll watch it from the end zone angle here. Once again, scrape. 
Now, some like back when I played football, they used to call it scrape down the line of scrimmage. I think now they call it surf. So the language has probably changed. You know, I'm I'm, I'm old as hell. Uh, but great job scraping or surfing um, down the line of scrimmage and making a play on little little 22 Deuce Vaughn, who's another prospect we'll definitely talk about here. Um, here's some versatility right here as well. Looping. Stunning. He can do a lot of different things. And the one thing I like about him on this inside stunt, he comes in, he brings the power right there. Watch him again. Loop around. Pushes that center a little bit. Makes the quarterback scramble outside the pocket. And by this push right here of him pushing that center back, it forces the quarterback to step outside the pocket because he's damn near got his leg stepped on, right? Which allows that defensive tackle to get pressure as well. So just by those inside stunts, it creates pass rush opportunities for others on defensive line, which if you have a defensive line like the Dallas Cowboys, that's what you want. Everybody eats in our defense. So it creates opportunities, and you can definitely stunt with him a lot, which Dan Quinn does like to do. And on this play here, just show him some versatility. Boom, here's the pass rush. Here's the money right here. Runs the hoop. Creates the fumble. Good job with his hands, getting that tackle's hands off of him. Running tight on that hoop. And even though he doesn't get to the quarterback necessarily, just by him putting his hand out there and using that arm lift once again, whoop, knocks that ball out. And that's where he made a lot of his bread and butter, just by running that hoop getting his arms out and making a play on the ball. Got to love it. Something that simple can change the course of the game. Did he have a direct heel on the quarterback? No, but he still got his hands free, got his hands on the quarterback, and was able to make a play. Boom. All right. Now, you probably won't see him doing this much at the next level, except on occasions, but he can drop back into coverage as well. And the one thing I like about him, he's always running to the ball. Right, just run to the ball, run to the ball, run to the ball. And that's the reason why I think that he was so so productive, right? Because he never gives up on the play, which if you're an NFL scout, you love that about a prospect. You want prospects who never give up on a play, who's always running the ball to make things happen. Just be around the ball, things are going to happen. And Will McDonald's definitely has that nose for the ball. He's always trying to run around the ball. Anytime you kind of see a play happening, he, his, his number's in the picture, which you love. All right. Now, this, if you're a Cowboys fan, you know, you know there's a team in our division that's going to run this at us a lot, right? And for this play right here, it shows the great patience, awareness, and feel for the game when he's reading this read option. He sits right there. He serves. He scrapes. He hesitates by getting his shoulder square, right? He's taking away the option for the quarterback to run, right? So he forces the quarterback to pitch. And the thing that I love most, Turns, gets his hips moving, and makes a play. That's that's a great, that is a great, great rep of how to play the option, which we know we're going to need a lot of that because it ain't done yet. They're going to run it even more probably next year. But great play, great effort, great awareness. Sideline to sideline there, and then make a play. All right, boom. All right, this play, he gets off the ball, uses runs that hoop again, and once again, y'all see that arm lift. Whoop, give me that. <laughs> you know, that's it. That's that's the money. That's the money, and that's why a lot of scouts are talking about this prospect, getting off the ball, getting the tackle's hands off of him, running the hoop, getting his arms free, and making a play on the ball. That's the money right there. That is the money play. That's the money. That's what's going to get you paid at the next level, young sir. All right? Just using that arm length, running the hoop. Look how he bends in. Bend, look at the bend right there. Gets that left hand free. And just that. Give me that. Give me that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, Tech, well, you're showing us all these great things. Well, y'all know on this channel, we don't show all the good. There got to be some bad. So we're going to watch this rep, and this is where he really struggles. It's in the power run game. And this is going against a lot of Cowboys fans' favorite prospect, one of mine personally as well, that left guard, Steve Avilia. 
Esteban out of TCU. And this boy, Esteban, he said, you know what? We ain't doing none of that today. Just pure power. Nah. Nah, it ain't going to be none of that. <laughs> ain't going to be none of that with Big Esteban. Nah, ain't going to be none of that. So you see Will McDonald slide inside. That's just not his strong point. You really want him on the edge as a speed rusher. If you're going to try to play a little three tech or maybe directly and have him be the edge setter over a tackle, it just ain't going to go in his favor, man. Look at Esteban. He's he finishing his food, man. I know this is a Will McDonald video. We got Esteban coming up here soon, but finishing his food. You know I'm saying get in the weight room. Look at that junkyard dog, man. But we ain't talking about Avelia right now. We're talking about Will McDonald. So this is his one area that he's going to struggle. I just don't think he's going to be your power guy. But as far as a guy that you want to get out there and hype up your pass rush, Will McDonald, the fourth out of Iowa State, is definitely that prospect to watch if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan or any NFL fan, man. So your boy, Jay Tuck, comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. When it comes to Will McDonald, He'll probably be a late first if lucky. More than likely, I think he's going to be a day two guy just because of the 24 years of age, a little bit older. I'm not sure how early the uh, people are going to reach on him. But if the Cowboys were to take him at 26, I would not be upset, man. But comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. If you love draft content, we're in the right spot because all we do is drop bangers after bangers after bangers after bangers, and you do not want to miss out, man. So I appreciate all the support. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. And with McDonald, the human cyclone, you on the pet cat list, bro. Peace.